Hey guys and gals, so in this video I'm going to show you the exploit on Rom, the vacuous spider boss in Bloodborne. The way I, I, I worked this out, and it was totally by accident, I had two friends join me because I'm in New Game Plus and it was kind of, you know, I didn't have too much trouble with them in the regular game, but in New Game Plus he was kind of giving me a hard time. So I was waiting for two friends to join me. And I noticed that while I was waiting, spiders were popping up around, and, and they were docile. So I started taking them out, and then when we started fighting Rom uh, during his second stage, there was only like three spiders. And the reason there were only three was because there were only three that we didn't kill of the docile ones. So what you're going to do is, and again, let me, let me just clarify, this was on uh, multiplayer, so if you guys want to try this out on single player and see if it works, please let me know in the comments, because I'm kind of curious myself. Though I'm, I'm pretty sure it will. So you're going to drop down here and you're going to wait. And spiders are going to start flickering in and out near where you dropped, like right there. And they're not going to do anything, they're not going to attack you. Just run up, take them out. And that's going to keep happening. <laughs> So, just wait around that area until you've killed all the spiders. And at that point, run up to the spiders around Rom, kill them. They are active, but, you know, business as usual, take them out. And then the rest of the Rom fight, you won't have to deal with any of the spiders dropping in when he teleports away. I mean, I don't know anything about game programming, but it seems to me that the, uh, the docile spiders are being loaded in to be used later in the fight, so you're just taking them out early and also they can't move, so it's just, this isn't really even really cheese. Like, after you watch this video, you're a professional cheese monger. Congratulations, new profession. So, anyway, I hope this helps some of you guys out, and, you know, I really, I wouldn't use this on your first playthrough unless you're just really, really getting thrashed by this guy, and you just want to move on. Uh, because, I mean, it's a great game, all the Souls games are, are, are great, and, you know, I would discourage using exploits your first run. But, anyway, if this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll let the video play so you guys can see how it ends. Thanks for watching.